Good morning. Welcome back to another Saturday morning sculpts. It's it's like one in the afternoon. Um, I don't know why I keep calling it morning, but you know what? It, it's uh, yeah, yeah. First of all, let me let me. I add, I put the wings on. I did it. I took that, took that giant leap of, whatever the hell. Um, yeah, and I put the wings on and looking pretty good so far. I think there's some things. Uh, I'm gonna do a video an update with eventually, but I have to like even a lot of this stuff out. I have to, um still go through then i'll have to base coat it and then i'm sure i'll find flaws like i i noticed this earlier it's like it's not terrible but it looks like there's like a divot in his arm so i have to like fill that with something either maybe i'll maybe i'll do it when i'm sculpting today yeah maybe I'll, you know what? that's the first thing i'll do I'll work on that and i have uh the cat lady which i need to add some more things i sort of drew out in the back where i want to add things we'll see how that goes i made my green stuff it's um a little runny little 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 thin I, I added a lot of blue stuff to it, but it still seems the consistency still seems a little, I don't know, Chipotle morning after, shall we say? Is that, I don't know. Can, can y'all relate to that? Uh, so, anyway, let me just fill these things in quick. Should take like two seconds. Well, should take like two minutes. And I'm not sure how the angle is for you guys with this. I, um,. I'm trying to play around with different camera angles to do this. It's very awkward. Um, I guess the best way would be to have it like attached to myself, like, you know, with like a, a GoPro hat. <laughs> but honestly, I don't, I don't know. I think I'll just go with this. All right. Even with him, the thing is like with the lion, I, I don't really, I mean, there are a lot of pictures of lions. I just didn't like any specifically for each way the arm went. So the musculature is very just, I don't know, instinctual the way I'm putting it, I guess, where I think it would be. And I definitely want it to look muscular, so. So I'm trying to create, like, the grooves there, not just one giant smooth blob. All right, that looks pretty good. Just keep rolling that in. One more and I'll move on to something else. I'll move on to the cat lady. Yeah, it's very sticky. I guess Chipotle the day after. It's not very right, sticky at least. That that's good. I mean clingy maybe. I love toilet humor, by the way. I 100% think that is the greatest. Uh, you, you know, I I know... Uh, oops, sorry. I know a lot of people frown on that. I, uh, I'm a big fan. Big fan of toilet humor. All right. Smooth out the edge. Come on. There we go. I think that should be good. Almost there. Almost there. All right. Yeah, being a perfectionist is shitty sometimes. That's all I'm going to say. All right, I did, uh, I drew lines on here because I wanted to <clears throat> have, like, a plan of action going in. Uh, what I'm noticing is this arm is very toned, but it's not big enough. So I need to pound out some, some more muscles on this baby. spill the water that would have been annoying all right let me see i have a little magnifying glass light so i'm going to use the magnifying glass too
looking at some anatomy of shoulders, it's almost like they look like little cantaloupes, kind of, with like three like distinct muscle groups and ridges. So that's what I'm gonna try and add here. I also know, like was looking at bodybuilders, which I, my my Facebook ads are gonna be crazy. I don't know if it's gonna be uh, soft core porn or what, but I was looking like all sorts of uh, bodybuilders' arms today to try and get like get the proportions right, because essentially this is gonna look like a super muscular arm. I should probably come up with a design for Saturday morning sculpts if that's going to be a thing. All right, that looks pretty good. I just recently bought a Dremel tool. I can't wait to try it out on uh, old Perkle over there. Because there's so much sanding and evening and stuff that I, like, I've been doing by hand, but we'll see. Uh, I might, like... And I'm taking off like a finger and saying like, okay, maybe Dremel's not the way to go. But because a lot of that's like milliput, which is essentially like, turns into almost like a stone sort of thing. It's like a super hard epoxy. All right. I didn't look at triceps. Maybe I should, but I think, I think because they're named triceps, there are probably three groups of muscles. I, I, I'm, I'm not a doctor or I don't know. I'm sure there's another word for someone who looks at muscles. Kinesiologist, maybe. All right. I think there's one on the inside, kind of. Grab this. That might be too much. And of course, I'm super excited about Deadpool coming out. I think, is there any anyone in the nerd community that's not a little bit excited about it? I don't think Marvel's been doing terrible with movies, but um, it wasn't what it was. I mean, we had this whole villain thing. There's this whole huge overarching storyline. And now because of uh, Jonathan Majors getting fired, it's like that, that storyline's gone. But even before that, it's like, it just wasn't as interesting for some reason. I think, um, yeah, they keep trying to catch lightning in a bottle. Or catch lightning. Is that what it is? Lightning striking twice? Trying to catch it twice? I don't know. I mean, they had a great thing with the, the Avengers and the, the whole first run, ending with Infinity, with Endgame. But, um, and they've had great movies since, but I don't know. Maybe they need to move on. All right, let's see. Can I look at my back notes a little bit? Look at that. All right, shoulder, back. Now this line down here, I'm going to have her in a corset, so that's going to be um, pretty much just nothing after, below that. It's just going to be like a flat line. I am concerned because, like, like the, again, the, theory, the premise behind this one, if you haven't, didn't see the last one, is um, essentially like someone, my, the demon god Purgle came down to Earth, saw someone who worshipped cats, and brought them back but gave them super ogre strength so so far i have like a 1950s housewife i have like a 1980s aerobics instructor kind of look i have um another one which i'm going to film soon a little uh witch elf which is fucking fantastic looking so far and this is going to be a cat girl not a cat woman not a cat lady a cat girl like one of those e-girls that sort of comes up and like uh yeah so I want it to look like that whole aesthetic in terms of what they're wearing. I don't know though how I, it's very tough because usually what, they're not exactly well-built muscle-wise. I mean, you know, 
some of them, you know, they, they show a lot of boob, they show a lot of leg, they show a lot of butt, but it's not muscular. So I'm worried that I'm going to lose some of that cat girl by doing the this huge, huge muscles. All right. Was that wrong what I just did? A um, little bit. Okay. That's all right. I keep screwing that up. Ugh. I really am trying to keep the, the muscles kind of accurate. I don't want to just be a lumpy, bumpy mess. So anyway, with the so this one, she's got to have the ogre face, which I put in the last video if you didn't see it. Basically, she's going to have an ogre face looking at a cell phone, taking a selfie, and then a giant axe or something in this hand. So uh, I, I added to her bosoms over the week, and uh, her bosoms. Uh, but that's pretty much it. And then, well, no, I think I did give a start to add to the legs, but there we go. All right, so now she's looking pretty muscular. And, you know, if I do too much, I have that whole trusty new Dremel I can go to. I say trusty. I don't know how trusty it is. I don't think you can have trust right away when you just first buy something. Put a little more on the back. And if you guys hear that music, I apologize. Please don't get me copyright banned. Although it sounds like 70s funk. I don't think there's anyone there. They'd be like, please play my music more when she can. Not exactly a hot sort of thing. Oh, and there's a car alarm. There we go. Oh, no, it's the motorcycle arm that goes off literally 10 times a day across the street. Thanks, buddy. Yep, no, we didn't get it. Keep going. Keep going, buddy. There you go. Nope, there you go. I don't know if I need these, actually, these two muscles here. The more I look at it, the more I think, I mean, I... It's sort of a big thing that runs along the back of the rib, ribs here, but, um... All right, that looks pretty good so far. Not too shabby. All right, I'm gonna keep adding a little bit to the neck. That might be too much. I might have to drag some of that over to the shoulder. I did see they jacked up some of the prices on um, some of the old world stuffs. Well, a lot of the Warhammer stuff in general. But then, I mean, I think everything's going up in price. So, 
I'm one of those people who's like, yeah, the price is going up, but it, how much of that is corporate grieved? And, you know, it's usually... Usually that's the culprit. I'm of that school where, like, corporate bad. All right, let's keep going here. Um, well, not corporate bad, but greedy corporate. Greedy corporate owner bad. Oh, now he's playing a song from, uh, speaking of Deadpool, from the first Deadpool movie. Uh, he's playing, uh, what's-his-face, DMX. I know I sound like a huge DMX fan. I know you're like, yeah, of course you're a DMX fan. Uh, do, do, do. Now let's see this other shoulder. There is like a divot in the shoulder when you lift your arm, even the bodybuilders, but I don't know if I'm going to add that. Um, that's kind of, kind of, might be too complex of a sculpt for me. Me and my feeble skills. They're no match for the deltoid, the deltoid processes. All right, um, maybe this time I'll just beef it up a little bit and then add detail later. That might be a good way to go. So there's what it's coming like so far. It's like there's, um, I don't know if you guys watch Forged in Fire, but there's, uh, I don't even know if that show's coming back. It should be. I mean, what the hell? Great show. Um, they always say something like this, forge thick, grind thin. And I feel like sometimes I do that with sculpting where I like put too much on and I, and I, I just know I'll be able to sand it off or cut it off later, which is probably not the best thing to do. Um, because then when I'm sanding or sculpting, I'll be like, man, I really wish I got this right. Next time I need to remember to sculpt it right. All right, here's the bottom of the tricep. Still no bicep. I still need that front muscle that goes like this. Let me see. I just saw a perfect uh, pose of um, a bodybuilder that I could use, but he's turned just a little bit too far, so I can't quite see. But he's going, making that thing. I think that needs to go up just a little bit more. Right about there. Right, maybe I can't put that little divot. Maybe I am a match. Maybe my feeble skills are a match. Because it'll be right about there. I can always fill it in. Oop. And the rest of this, I'm just gonna slap on the uh, the bottom, make it start to make uh, start to bulk it up, so I can add musculature to that. Also, the uh, Knicks lost. I'm in, I'm in New York City. I don't really watch basketball too much. But, I mean, how can you not root for your home team when you're there? You know, unless they're the Yankees and they can go fuck themselves. But, yeah, the Knicks lost last night. So, if you're in Indiana, savor the flavor, buddy. You got it this one. But you're coming back to New York tomorrow. I think it's tomorrow. I think Game seven's tomorrow.
Oh, that's a, that's a song. That's a choice. Alright, let's see. Where'd you go? Where'd you go, you little nugget? Alright, that's not enough of a bicep. It's not even close. That's right. Again, I'm just starting to bulk it up, so. How much time I'm at? 20 minutes. 20 minutes. All right. Um, I think I'm looking at this forearm. I think I already, I don't want to add to it because it looks already out of proportion a little bit. I think I need to cut part of this off and then just put a, a single piece of armature wire. Um, this one might be okay. Um, Let me see, I'll just kind of add some bulk to the forearm. All right, the other thing about the bicep tricep, there's like a it doesn't stick out in the middle there when they lift it up. It's almost like divided there, so I need to make sure that stays somewhat divided. All right, I need to add a lot of this here, but it's a good start. I also need to trim that little piece off there. I don't know if you can see it. And then make it go down. Yeah, that's like a little too much green stuff. Forge thick, grind thin, I guess. All right, let's um start to wrap this puppy up. I um fill in this hole for sure. That's an easy thing. Um, and let's add some thickness to these thighs. Thigh muscles are going to be tough. Oh, actually, this foot isn't, that is not long enough. That bone right there goes all the way down. So this definitely needs to, I need to work on this a little bit too. Um, let me take off a piece, fill it up. So I'm getting there. I mean, it looks like a back. It looks like a muscular back. And she's going to be wearing probably like the typical like cat girl, like the um, corset, like thigh high uh, stockings, um, cat ears, you know, the usual. All right. I don't want to connect these two yet. All right. She's also going to have, there's no way there's going to be a thigh gap. This girl's going to have uh, some thickness. Although it should be muscular thickness, I guess. Anyway, for now, we're just bulking it up. How many of you guys actually sculpt, by the way? If you're sculpting and you're working on something, please comment and let me know. Because I love, I love, uh, you know, or if you guys ever want to have a, I know there's not a lot of people watching, but um, at some point down the road, I would love to just hang out and chat with you guys or a bunch of people. So if you guys know a good Discord server or a good live feed where people can just hang out and chat, just holler. Uh, all right, this is... Starting to get there, thickness-wise. I might take the Dremel to the whole thing tomorrow just to even everything out and um, just play with my new, to new toy. But all right, I think that's about it. How do I balance this? I guess I could do the head I didn't touch, so I guess I can balance it somewhere like this on something. Um, yeah, hold on. I'll be one second. Let me... What do I do with it? How do I do this? All right, let me grab something. One second. Don't don't go anywhere. Here. Talk to the lion. Talk to the lion for a second. I'm still here. 
still here. All right, I balanced it. Um, and I started painting my witch elf. Just give you guys a little preview. I started painting her. So, but then I, as I was going, I needed to add more, more hair. So let me move you out of the way. Let me move you here. So I'm getting there. Um, this is what she looks like. She's, uh, she's a beefy girl. For sure. But anyway, I'm all out of green stuff, so I'm all out of time. Thank you guys for watching, and uh, we'll see you next time. Bye.